after he, uh, abli- ah, shata baha. That's what the scripture means when it says the early and the latter rain together in the first month. <laughs> you just got that. I it, just got it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I'm hot. Oh, Yes, the early and the latter rain together in the first month. Your father's inheritance and then your inheritance together at the same time. Okay, now this is what I want us to do. I want us to to declare this prophetically through the streaming network where prophetess, what what prophetess Connie has just said, the early and the latter rain together in the first month. Amen. The early and the latter rain together in the first month. I want you just to type that in cyberspace right now, and I want you to write it in your books. Because what God is doing, he's bringing a prophetic message. Whenever something happens in the earth, God will do nothing but reveals his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. And tonight, Prophetess Connie Williams is revealing to us what the mind of the spirit was when that tsunami hit and time shift. Was the tsunami for the purpose of time? And then ultimately, was it for the purpose of the elect? When the Bible says, except the days be shortened for yeah. the elect's sake. Yeah, yeah. There's some people that have been elected yeah. unto some things. You could not have come to this site tonight unless you are ready to hear this revelation of God. And so I want you to just type there with me the early and the latter rain together in the first month. And that's where I'll know, amen. And I can see that prophetess Paris, who's one of the poem prophetess here, amen, has typed it. Jan Danielson, Sean Cotton, I'm glad that you made it on board, calling you earlier by the Spirit. Yousef typed it, amen, I think from Israel. Listen, God has gotten people all over the world to hear this prophetic message because you're going to be the ones to take it out into the world because the world is wondering why has time shifted and what has happened in the weather patterns and why the strange things happening because there are some things that you're going to now begin to take a hold of that your forefathers could not walk in. Maybe this explains why some of us had to stop what we were doing and gather up some of the teachings of our fathers. Mm -hmm. And Mm Prophet Connie, as you know, amen, yes, I've sat at the feet of Reverend Ike. Mm -hmm. Yes, I went down and studied some of the things of Father Divine and Mm -hmm. got all the, Mm -hmm. the, the different materials that they had and set with Mother Divine, amen. We began to watch some of the things of these that have gone on and wonder how come a generation didn't see this? Mm-hmm. Why didn't they know this? How come their voice was almost mute? I want you to know that this is God. This is God. I want us right now to just, um, and Prophet Connie Williams is going to come back with this early and latter rain. Um, do we have that tsunami footage? Amen. If we have that tsunami footage, I want us to roll that right now, and then we're going to come right back and continue this prophetic message, give you time to get on the phone and call someone and tell them you need to be tuned in to the prophetic network because the prophets are doing what they are ordained to do. Listen to and watch this footage. For those of you that are just tuning in or watching, I want to thank those of you that are in the live chat. Prophet Berian is here with us in the live chat room. Prophet Berian, tell us what's going on in the live chat right now. Yes, Master Prophet. It's, it's amazing. People are just emailing, coming in. They're excited about the message. Uh, people are emailing us. They are calling in with their credit card for the $20 seed. I think this is about the most I've seen it full ever. Amen. I mean, it is full, and people are just coming in and coming in. And just asking for a word, excited about the teaching. Amen. Who are some of the people that have sent in already? Um, Calvin we, Jones. We want you to um, thank Kimberly Ford, who's done a $20 seed, amen, by the word of the Lord that we've asked you. There's a sowing in the congregation. Kelvin Jones from out of California. 
Kimberly Ford from out of Alabama, thank you for your $20 seed. Janice Goss, God bless you for your $20 seed out of Apex, North Carolina. Amen. I want to thank you. Amen. And it's not too late for you to sow. Call the telephone number right now on the screen, and they'll pass your poem to me. Amen. That you have sown the $20 seed tonight. We're continuing on with Prophetess Connie William all the way out from Ball Ground, Georgia. Amen. Amen. And um, she's a blessing. She's no stranger here. She's also a part of POEM. We also thank God for um, Bishop Womack, who is also with us here tonight, amen, in the chat room, watching us through the streaming site. Okay, Prophetess Connie Williams, you were sharing about the latter rain, the former rain, the latter rain, all in the same month, um, time shifting. I've got so much notes here. I'm, the, I'm the, to yeah, the first shift <laughs> is the inheritance of the fathers. Now I understand why we've gone back and got some things. Well, why maybe Bishop Pearson had to go back and gather some things up. Amen. Amen. To bring about. Amen. And just to bring some things back from the past mm -hmm. that needed to be fulfilled or redeemed or stated wisely so that we can begin to now move into the fullness of our inheritance. You talk to us about God shift time so that we can walk into what our fathers did not walk in. Some of them went to the grave still with their dream in them, or some of them went to the grave, amen, with still the, um, um, the anointing, um, how can I say it, still with the anointing resting on Elijah bone, Elisha bones. Yeah. And therefore, what happened is God took that which was dead and threw it on the bones of what seemingly was a has-been only to give resurrection into a new generation and into a new life. Um, this whole thing about time shifting. Um, you, you, you dealt with that extremes. When God goes to the extremes to mess with time, he has a purpose in mind. Mm -hmm. And you're revealing as a prophetess what the purpose is that God has in mind, and that's for us to skip a generation in the wilderness. See, now, you may say, well, what's, what if I'm in my blessing? Well, your blessing is a wilderness when it compares to what you just mm -hmm. now stepped in. Mm -hmm. See, you won't even know you're in a wilderness experience until after you came out of it and saw that there was something big on the other side. For instance, um, I was in a house that was about 6,000 square feet, and I thought that was my blessing and my inheritance, but I discovered it was a wilderness when I moved into a 16,000 square foot home. Yeah. You yeah. see, um, you may think that you're in a blessing area because you make a hundred thousand a year but you're gonna find out that that hundred thousand a year was just a wilderness experience because now you're making a million so we are seeing that now things have accelerated and as prophet as Connie said we went to sleep in 2004 and then woke up now January 1st 2005 and it was 2044 a generation has advanced mm -hmm. okay. amen 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 well, I you say it better than I do, but I guess no. it's I'm my just turn. echoing here. My, <laughs> this is this is powerful. Amen. And uh, so um, I had said that when, uh, like three days before the tsunami hit, I was having dinner with some uh, politician friends of mine, and I said I do not know something is about to happen that's going to affect the whole universe and it has something to do with balance. Mm -hmm. I said something is off balance and it's getting ready to be corrected and I was uh, not dizzy, I just my balance was off mm -hmm. and during that season was when uh, the tsunami hit and the earth uh, was shifted. The rotation of the earth was shifted. So I um, prophesied now that there would be other things there'd be there'll be another major shift but uh also all i also prophesied when they said well the tsunami was just going to affect that area i told that that is going to affect the whole world <laughs> That's right. i don't care what they say all all the way over i said it'll come through california first and then come on around uh the world and all those mudslides and everything like that um but let me tell you why they're um weather pattern has changed because with the tsunami with that shift the heavens opened mm. 
So we have an abundance of rain. We have high winds. We mm -hmm. have, because with the, with the tsunami,